Welcome my viewers and my listeners to the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. This is Pastor Florence. I want to take this opportunity to thank God for the privilege of sharing his word. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for the time you take to listen, to watch, to practice what you learn, to share with other people and even praying for me. Maybe you may say I don't even pray for you, Pastor Florence, but I'll keep reminding you because we need each other. My weekly schedules are Monday through Wednesday. I bring inspirational word. And Wednesday, like today, we normally have the moment that is normally brought by one of my mentees back in Kenya, Hannah Waja. But I'm stepping in for her today. She's on a short break. Uh, we need to help each other because life, as I always say, is like pendles of a bicycle. She brings the moment show uh, focusing on the boy child. The, uh, that's just celebrating in the kitchen because what we put in this body is of importance because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Fridays, putting on the right gear for the weekend because you and I need to put on the gear of integrity as we serve God in Jesus' name. And we put on the gear as individuals because there is no way two drivers can be on the steering wheel at the same time. You can only be a co-driver. Saturday, Sunday, I take a break so that uh, we can all have a time to go to our respective places of worship. I'm mindful of those people who go to church on Saturday. So my brother, my sister, you are well covered. And I want to encourage you to find a home church. Nobody want to be a spiritual shukura. Nobody want to be homeless. We all need to have a home. Actually, the three basic things that God is concerned about is the food we eat, the clothing, and the shelter. So even spiritual shelters are very important. You need a spiritual cover. Uh, that being said, today, as I said, is the moment show with Hannah Waja, but I'm stepping in for her. I want to be focusing on the men of the Bible because when we talk about, she focuses on the male child and she had no idea that I'm so passionate about it. So let us start with a word of prayer and keep, uh, uh, keep Hannah in your prayers together with the family. Uh, they are young family, but I want to thank God that she has stepped uh, in uh, together with the husband to be part of Celebrate Your Moment. God bless you and continue to increase your boundaries, uh, Abraham Mushiri and your uh, wife, Hannah. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this day. I'm stepping in for my sister Hannah Waja, who by faith and courageously stepped in to be bringing about the male figure. I pray that you may use me, dear Father, in her place uh, for the glory and honor of thy name. As you bless me, remember her together with the family for the glory and honor of thy name. Continue to meet them at the very point of their needs and according to your riches in glory. I thank you, dear Father. I pray that I may decrease as you increase. Uh, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee. Take over. I lift to higher for you said if you are lifted up you shall do men unto yourself do only what you can do in jesus name amen and amen now the male figure may i say that uh, god is very passionate about men from time immemorial god has always used men he called men from the very first time after god created everything by saying let there be let there be when it came to man to humanity, he incorporated the unity of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, who are these men of the Bible? We have Abraham. Let me start with Adam. Adam, who was who God created and caused a deep sleep because he saw it was lonely. It was not good for him to be alone. He was living in the midst of the animals. Well, I know Hannah speaks very softly. You know, we are gifted differently. So Hannah, bear with me in your show. <laughs> in your show, I'm taking it in an evangelistic tone. So Adam was created by God, and that represented the, must, the, the first male figure. Men out there, the boy child out there, you are number one in the agenda of God. Then we have Abraham, who God called for, to live from his place of comfort and go to an unknown place but he obeyed so male figure under the sound of my voice boy figure know that obedience to god is of importance because abraham was blessed because he obeyed even though he did not know where he was going he believed god to be a promise keeper can you as a male figure can you as a man can you as a boy child believe god by faith even without consulting your wife I am so grateful for Abraham that when God called him, he did not consult, they did not have a meeting with the, with the family to say, hey, by the way, we have an agenda here. God has told me, let us go. Because, you know, about women, I'm one of them. Yeah, I know it. And I'm married. 
my husband know it too well. You know, somebody can just about your call for God. Abraham obeyed God and he took the responsibility. He took his leadership. He took his role. Man out there under the sound of my voice. Male figure out there under the sound of my voice. Boy child, God has called you to take responsibility and assignment that God he has given you. Because we see, if we go further about Abraham, when, uh, when there came people, and the, the, the three strangers, he did not request Sarah. He ordered Sarah. He said, make bread for these people. He decided to slaughter whatever animal for them to eat. It is the responsibility of the male figure to make the decision. And if it is in line with the word of God and in obedience, it will bring peace and it will be obeyed by everybody in Jesus' name. Come to the man Moses. Now we start seeing the weakness of male figure and the boy child. When Moses was called by God, you know, he was the first person to be talked to God face to face. But when he was told to, be, to go to the, you know, to, to deliver the Israelites, he asked, how can I? He started asking. He started seeing himself. The moment we, we involve the self in us, it will bring some difficulties because you will start facing the reality of life. And reality and faith are parallel. Hmm. My brother, my sister, Moses even said, Lord, I don't know how to speak. He had forgotten that it is God who gives us the tongue to speak and how even to pronounce. There could be a male figure under the sound of my voice. There could be a man under the sound of my voice. There could be an uncle under the sound of my voice. There could be a husband like my husband, Mr. Minor, under the sound of my voice, who been feeling so in, in, incapable that you cannot be able to do what God has called you to do. You must remember that it, when God calls, he equips, he provides, he enables. That's why the Bible continues to say, let the weak say they are strong. Then we come to the man, Naaman. Naaman was a great uh, man in the army, but he had leprosy. I thank God that because of a servant girl who took initiative and courage, to speak. That is when now we see a woman who had no status. Actually, even now we are not told the name of this servant girl who brought in the healing. It came as a result of this young lady saying, if, there, there, if, 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 if my Lord would know there is a servant in Israel, my brother, my sister, for male figure, you have to listen to the voice, no matter who God may use, because if God used the donkey during the time of Barak and Baram, he can use anybody. And because I am focusing on the male child, I don't want to continue, let me just uh, leave there, maybe I could have mentioned how many, I have mentioned Adam, Abraham, Moses, and Naaman. Let me leave there. And if another day I have to step in for my sister, Hannah Waja, I'm going to continue from there, from the fifth one, who will be Nehemiah, Herod, and John the Baptist. My brother and my sister under the sound of my voice. The male figure has always been in the mind of God. But this male figure must take God at his word. Know that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Know that he is the creator of everything. Because he, and he's also the provider. He is the protector. When God makes you the man as a protector, it, it, you, are under, you are acting you know, under the supervision of God for protection. That's why, actually, women, they don't sleep at the... Women always sleep uh, towards the wall or, or, or not near the, the door so that they can be protected by men. If you ever see as a woman, as a married woman, a woman who, a man who likes to sleep, you know, away from the door or away from the danger, there is something wrong there. They need a lot of prayer for deliverance. So that is a significance, a symbol that men are there to protect. Husbands are there to protect their wives. So when Abraham took the step, that is to say, the men are the ones who take the step to lead and guide. That does not give us the excuse as women that we cannot serve God because now I'll also be reaching somewhere where I'll be reminding you of Deborah. Hallelujah! Nothing, everything was stagnant until she had, nothing was to move unless she had to move. There are some things that will not move until we take a step, the first step as women. Now, coming to Abraham and Sarah, 
God talked to Abraham. Abraham obeyed. When a man, a male figure obeys, it's automatically those under him will obey. Sarah obeyed when he was told by his lord Abraham to prepare the bread for the men who had visited. And she agreed because the man took, the, Abraham took the step having been ordered by God and he obeyed. Let's come to Eve. Eve was given charge in the garden of Eden. I don't know where he was when the enemy came in. When Satan came in and started confessing with the, with the woman. Men, you need to be available so that there is no vacuum that the devil will take to come and confess, to start having conversation in your family, in your marriage, in your parenthood, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Moses doubted God. You must not doubt. Don't tell God of your incapability because he's the God of all abilities. Is there anything too hard for God? Because this is the moment, the moment show. I'm not going to exceed the way I always exceed. I'm here on behalf of Hannah Waja every Wednesday. That could be a call for you. You're out there and God is calling you to serve. When Waja cannot come in today, I'm stepping in for her. You could be the next person. Just call me. Celebrate your moment is just a sub, but it's just about serving God. No, no. This pulpit is God who gave me and it's not mine. It's just for his service yeah come in you feel in when he's not there i'm going to be talking to another waja who is my mentee and see whether she can be stepping in but if not i am lady i am lady because he called me and i answered her. he has called me and i answered he called me and i answered he called me and i answered and I am somewhere working for my Lord. Where, when he calls you, are you going to answer? Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this message. I'm focusing on the boy child. I want to thank you for my sister Hannah who normally take it, but I'm stepping in for her. If there's a call that you are praising on my fear and my reason right now to step in and join, celebrate your moment, I thank you. If nobody is there, my God, as long as you give me the bread, I'll continue to do it because I'm well able by your grace. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that this word may encourage that male figure out there, that husband out there, that brother out there, that uncle out there. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take over in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, because I'm not Hannah Waja, I'm Pastor Florence, I have to ask you, as a male figure, you are there. You've been giving yourself reasons. Mm, this women, this system, it's not about the system. It's about the Kingdom protocol and policies, the kingdom orders. It is God, not about the system, not about the system of America, not about the system of China, not the system of about of Kenya. No, it's the system of God. And for you, woman, you are there. You, as a young person, you are there. God is calling each one of us, but you have to start with the basic, giving your life to the Lord. You are there. You have never given your life to the Lord. That's where I'm heading to. You want to say this prayer after me so that you start there obeying God, the voice of God. According to John 3, 16, that for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If that's you, you have never made that step to trust God. You want to say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am here in the moment show that focuses on the new child. I am here as a human being. I repent of my sins or feeling I'm not capable or feeling my time is not yet. I accept you. To be my Lord and Savior. Forgive me my sins, O Lord. Write my name in the book of life. And give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. But two things are, are important. Testimony of what has happened in your life. And also looking for a home church where you belong. We don't want to be homeless spiritually. Personally, I have a home church. Grace Fellowship, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. My pastor is Joe Boyd. I'm not a pastor there, but I serve there in the dream team ministry, in the prayer ministry. Uh, yes, my brother, my sister. You do, if, I'm an ordained pastor since 2018. Even before then, I was still serving. It's not ordaining that makes us to serve. It's the call that God has put in us. The bread that God has put in us. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. 
Remember to celebrate every moment, not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Because every moment counts, every moment matters. And subscribe to my channel. I say subscribe. Share with other people. Practice what you learn. New figure, rise up. God has been waiting for you to take charge and take lead. Thank you.